Hey guys, today I want to talk about safety wiring, uh, but first a few notes. One, make sure you start with a high quality stainless steel wire. Uh, we like the 30 thousandths, 30 to 32 thousandths wire, kind of accomplishes everything. Uh, the other thing you want to get is a set of safety wire pliers. Um, ideally, you'd get a reversible set. More on that in a little bit. Uh, last point to note is safety wire really has nothing to do with holding torque or keeping torque on a bolt. It's more about preventing rotation or preventing the bolt from backing out. So uh, with that, let's take our stuff, go down and safety wire bolt. So the first step is to cut your safety wire. And here, do yourself a favor and cut more than you need. Safety wire is cheap and there's nothing worse than getting partway through a job and realizing you don't have enough to complete it. So with this cut, now we're gonna feed the wire through the first bolt. And as you can see, the hole is almost perfectly in line with the bolt we're gonna to connect to. Uh, you never wanna connect directly across because if you do it that way, the bolt does have the ability to rotate. So you wanna take this leading edge here wrap it around the bolt in the direction of tightening. And you wanna make sure there's always at least 90 degrees of wrap there before you head to the next bolt. Now with that done, what we like to do is pinch the wire right about on center on the next bolt. And by pinching it right there on center, when we go to tighten, you're gonna end up where you wanna be which is just before the bolt in the twist. And that's a little confusing, but I'll do it now and it'll kind of make a little more sense. So we have the wire, or we have the pliers adjusted so when it tightens, it's actually gonna spin into the bolt. And generally you're looking for, you know, eight to 10 turns per inch. Now you can see we have just a little bit of extra room. And using that same principle we did over here, we're gonna find the hole in the bolt and in the direction of tightening, we wanna make sure we have at least 90 degrees wrap. Which we do there. Pull the ends tight. And that's the other thing that we, uh, we kinda of need to cover here is you don't wanna use the twisting of the bolt to get all the slack out to basically make the, the wire tight. You wanna pull the whole unit tight first, and then do your twisting. And there we actually use the reverse function on the pliers so that we're always spinning into the bolt so the wire doesn't want to come off the end of the bolt. Now with both of them done, the last thing you definitely want to do after you cut this short is fold it back on itself. Um, you will thank yourself later for that because by folding it back on itself, you get rid of this sharp end that you could catch uh, a body part on uh, while you're at a pit or while you're servicing the vehicle. Uh, and that's it, how to safety wire a bolt.